Hi, I'm Chris, and I've been diagnosed with a generalized anxiety disorder. And when I get overwhelmed, that is something that really triggers my anxiety. And I know a lot of you struggle with that too. I have a lot on my plate, all right? So not only do I work two jobs, but I run this YouTube channel. I'm a writer, I've been writing a ton lately. I'm also a father, uh, I'm a boyfriend. I have a ton of things going on. I've been cooking because I'm trying to eat healthier. I go to the gym and all of this stuff, like it should be making me go insane, all right? And a lot of you reach out to me and tell me how organizing your time and time management triggers a lot of your anxiety. So I wanted to make this video because even with everything going on, I've developed some methods to manage my time better and I have a ton of time on my hands. I binge watch TV shows, I play a lot of video games, and I read a ton of books. So if you implement some of these methods, I guarantee they can help you too. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel's all about mental health. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell, all right? So something that I've, I've realized is a lot of people struggle with time management and a lot of people struggle with anxiety, all right? So those of us who struggle with anxiety, like something that's helped me out through the years is understanding what I can and can't control, all right? Mental health issues run in my family. Like there are some things wrong with my brain, so I get anxiety, you know what I mean? But when it comes to time management, which is one of my triggers for anxiety, that's something I can control and that's something that you can control too. So I was sitting around the other day and I was wondering how many people struggle with time management issues and how many people struggle with anxiety because of their time management issues. And the results were overwhelming. So over on my Instagram, and by the way, follow me over on Instagram if you're not yet, I did a poll. I said, do you struggle with time management? And I think it was over 70% of people who said, yes, I struggle with time management. And I was like, hmm. So I did another poll right after it. I was like, for anybody who answered yes, how many of you have anxiety based on your struggles with time management. And it was like 80% of people. So that's exactly why I wanted to make this video and discuss some methods that I use that could probably help you too. And if there's something that we can do to control at least one of the aspects of our anxiety, like that is a win, all right? So here are five tips, all right? They work for me and they can work for you too. First one is audit your time. Okay, like if you have to pause this video, like and just do this real quick, like audit your time. Where is all of your time going? All of us have the same amount of hours every single day. All right, so where is your time going? All right, and when you look at where your time is going, try to see how much time is wasted. So when I started looking at this and saying, oh my God, how am I gonna get all these things done and everything like that, and I audited my time, so much of my time, and probably a lot of your time too, is wasted doing this, all right? Like wasted scrolling through Twitter feeds, scrolling through Facebook, scrolling through Instagram. Like they have some like apps on your phone now where you can monitor, you know, your screen time and things like that. I personally don't use them. I just made a rough estimate. I'm like, God, I am probably spending hours not being productive, all right? And most of the time when we are just mindlessly scrolling through these social media platforms, it's so we can escape something or it's a, a, a tool for our own procrastination. You know what I mean? So we really need to check in with that. So audit your time, all right? Second thing, second thing, okay? Wake up earlier and go to sleep earlier, all right? This is something that has given me more time, okay? We need on average about seven to eight hours of sleep, okay? My typical bedtime as an old man of 34 years old, my typical bedtime is between 10 and 11 p.m. Every morning, including on the weekends, I wake up at about 6 a.m., okay? 
So I get seven to eight hours and I wake up early. This helps me get stuff done. Okay, so some of the things that I was telling you about, like I manage my YouTube channel, as well as all the rest of my social media, I'm a writer, um, all these other things. Like a lot of that I do before I even have to go to work. Like I mentioned, I've been going to the gym lately and things like that. I do that before work. I get that stuff done in the morning, all right? Who was it? Mark Twain has a quote where it's like, if you have to eat a, uh, eat a frog, like eat the biggest one first or something like that. And that's something that I try to do. Like I try to get stuff out of the way in the morning. But when people struggle with like sleeping issues, like let me tell you this, if you struggle with sleep, like insomnia, and you want me to do a video about that, like that's something I struggled with for a long time, let me know down in the comments below because I used to have really bad insomnia and now I sleep like a baby, all right? But look at your sleep schedule and see if you are like staying up late, watching YouTube videos or binge watching shows or scrolling through social media, which isn't doing anything for you except for looking at nonsense on your phone, right? Like what is keeping you up at night, all right? But let me know if you want me to do something on getting a better sleep schedule, all right? The next thing that's really helped me out with managing my time is it's kind of part of auditing my time, but it's more with productivity, right? Like I try to figure out how long specific things take, right? How long does it take me to make a YouTube video? How long does it take me to write an article? At my two jobs, I have different responsibilities. How long do different tasks take? So when I have an idea of how long a certain task should take, I can look at the time available and say, okay, what can I squeeze in to that block of time? All right, next thing, next thing, all right? Limit your social media, okay? Limit it, okay? There are many different apps out there, but I am kind of of the belief of just developing self-discipline rather than getting technology to limit your technology and everything like that. Like for some of us, we get overwhelmed at work and if we're being honest with ourselves, we're wasting time on social media, right? Like when I talked about auditing your time, like how much time in your day is glancing down at your phone to see what's going on on Twitter, right? Uh, what kind of notifications you have, how many people liked your last Instagram photo and everything, you know what I mean? So like me, I'll, I'll schedule in, like after I get a task done, something I'll do is I'll be like, okay, Chris, you have like two or three minutes to get caught up on social media, right? And <clears throat> I'll like check my Instagram, I'll check my Twitter, see if I have any DMs and things like that. Um, if there are things that are going to require like, like I get DMs asking me questions or people wanting to be uh, pointed in the direction of resources for like mental health or addiction, I'm like, okay, this is gonna take a longer response, so I'll do that after work. You know what I mean? But it's kind of like a little treat. So maybe after you accomplish something, give yourself a little, a little social media snack, all right? But look how much time you are spending on social media. For example, like I keep an eye on you guys. I'm, I'm watching you guys. I saw a lot of people who said yes, time management is an issue, and yes, time management causes anxiety. I looked at who said yes, and I was like, this person is constantly on social media, and there's a lot of you guys, you know what I mean? So make sure you keep that in check, all right? So number five, the last thing, the last thing, okay? This is called gamification, all right? Um, some of you have joined the Facebook group that we created for uh, Super Better. It's an excellent book, a lot of psychology, and it, it integrates like having like a, a, a gaming mindset, but more specifically for this, a challenge mindset. Here's what I mean by that. So like with the other tip we were talking about, figure out how long certain tasks take. I develop a challenge mindset and I'm like, okay, this is how long this is gonna take. I need to get it done by this time, all right? So if it's a quarter to 10 o'clock in the morning, okay, and I know something takes 15 minutes, make sure I get it done by that time and I create that challenge, I give myself a certain time. If I know that um, a certain task and I have multiple of them takes me 20 minutes, 
right? I'm like, okay, you should be able to get these done in an hour. So set a timer for an hour from now, or just look at your clock, right? And get those done. So when you create things in kind of this challenge mindset, that can help with procrastination, that can help you really focus. And you're kind of playing this little game where you're giving yourself a time limit to get something done. All right, so those are five different ways that I manage my time that really helps with my anxiety. But like I said, it also gives me a ton of free time as well. Like as soon as I'm done with this video, my beautiful girlfriend Tristan and I are gonna get caught up on some YouTube videos. But this morning I've already written an article, recorded this video, I made breakfast, you know what I mean? So I, I figured out ways to do this. So here's a bonus tip. If you are really struggling with this, I cannot recommend enough that you pick up the book Deep Work by Cal Newport. I love all of Cal Newport's books, but Deep Work is one of his most popular books and it will really teach you a lot of methods using studies and psychology on how to just get stuff done and how to train yourself to focus a little better. It's even helped me a bit with my time management. Even though I have all these strategies in place, I have no problem learning more. Like how can I be more efficient? You know what I mean? So I'll link that book down in the description below if you wanna check it out, all right? So that's all I got for this video. If you have any questions about time management or any of the tips that I mentioned in this, let me know down in the comments down below and I'll try to answer them or maybe I could do some follow-up videos. But I really, really, really hope this will help you with some of your time management as well as your anxiety, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon, as well as everybody who supports the channel by buying my mental health books at therewiredsoul.com or our merch like this shirt with my adorable cat Maya on it, all that kind of good stuff. I appreciate you guys a lot. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.